Okay, here is the Mophie Juice Pack Plus. Uh, it's about $100, and this is it torn down. What happened is that my button that turned it on after dropping it intermittently would charge and then not charge the phone even though it has uh, juice in the battery. Now, you'll excuse me if um, this teardown is a little bit shaky. I'm using an iPhone to do this. So I'm just going to place this back. I tore it down already, so you know I'm not going to show you the exact taking it apart, but I'll show you what I did first. Here you have the outer um, casing. This is the bottom. As you can see, that's where the lights go. And this goes around here, like so. Now what you want to do is you want to start at this at this end and pry this off. It's just held with sticky tape. So, oh, there we are. So you would just pull this off. Be really careful right here where the micro USB um, port is because at that point I broke the plastic, but it's still held together by the uh, exterior finish or rubberizing that it has on it. So you might want to start at both ends of the case and um, start at this end here and then pull it off at the bottom. Once you get that off, this literally lifts away. This whole piece, if you pull it right here just like this, and I held on to the bottom and the top uh, back case, it pulls right up and off. And then this just pushes out the 30-pin uh, adapter, pushes out from the inside, you just push it like that, and then you are able to try and fix a $100 really bulky iPhone case, especially if it doesn't charge anything. Um, here is a view of what the back looks like, so you know what you're pulling apart. As you can tell, it's just a simple straight line right along the bottom and the top and it just houses the clear plastic um, button buttons and lights and that's it so it took me about one minute to pull this apart and the only little caveat was breaking this part of the plastic right here around the micro USB so be very careful of that and good luck